if you need to gain access to your suburban water heater, the non-on-demand style, on uh, my 2014, here's an easy way to gain access uh, to some things on it. We'll open up the kitchen door, and uh, there's a false panel here that I've taken a couple of screws out of. And we'll take that false panel off, and uh, we can now see the suburban water heater. I'll identify a couple of components uh, from uh, looking inside the kitchen area uh, through the uh, cabinet door access panel. This little white box is the igniter module for the suburban uh, water heater. And uh, the only thing it is uh, here for is for the 12 volt uh, propane side of the system. And you can see where the wires run uh, forward up to the front uh, of the water heater and uh, they will go down to the uh, igniter assembly and the gas valves uh, there are two of them outside and uh, the box itself is just a plastic covering and it's just held on uh, uh, this is how suburban does it uh, some of them are stuck on with sticky tape and this one uh, it's actually got a uh, a small strap uh, holding it in place so if you have problems with your igniter or with your uh, DC side uh, you can get quick access uh, through here in fact as it's uh, uh, much easier to access this way through my kitchen uh, uh, false panel door than trying to do it through the basement and uh, we'll take another view here we're looking over the top of the suburban water heater and where my finger points uh, in that general direction is where the 120 volt uh, AC wire uh, comes in. You can see the white wire back there against the wall and that runs to a junction box that you can't see from uh, this side of the water heater uh, inside the Alpine. And uh, that junction box is where the uh, 120 volts AC is fed from your power center to the water heater junction box and then uh, down outside to a, a little uh, a black on and off switch and on some uh, Alpine units if you uh, have uh, two switches inside to control your water heater one for the propane mode and one for the electric mode uh, over up against this wall uh, down below in that junction box that you can't see in this video uh, there's going to be a remote relay and it's powered by 12 volts and uh, that uh, when you turn the switch on and off inside your Alpine for the electric mode there's a relay there and uh, what it does is remotely uh, connects 120 volts AC to the water heater element and uh, heats your water and one more view looking from inside uh, the 2014 Alpine in the kitchen area looking at the suburban water heater and uh, if you have problems with your hot water uh, on the top side of the water heater this is the outlet side there's a brass valve that you can see there uh, if that brass check valve sticks and clo sticks closed you won't get any hot water and uh, if I had that problem I could easily change this valve from inside uh, and if you look back uh, through the the belly of the fifth wheel it uh, you can see that access uh, is much easier from uh, inside my fifth wheel than it would be trying to come through the basement. Your Alpine may be different depending on the uh, floor plan layout, but uh, that is the hot water uh, outlet side. And if we look down, uh, you see the blue PEX line coming in. That's where the cold water feeds into the water heater. And uh, this is the water heater. And uh, then comes out the outlet valve and uh, goes to all of your faucets. And if you're having problems with the electric or uh, 12 volt side uh, of your water heater not working, the first thing I would recommend you do is push these reset buttons. Uh, the one on the left is uh, for the 120 side and the one on the right is for the 12 volt sides. Uh, you have two propane valves here. This is uh, a, back, a primary and a backup and uh, they both have to work. If either of them fails to open, you won't get any flow of propane uh, uh, through the regulator assembly uh, and then down into the burner tube assembly and up inside uh, and 
to form combustion. So that's an area to remember. And on this particular uh, model, uh, my 2014 Alpine uh, was a Suburban uh, SW12DEL. Uh, you can see this small little toggle switch, and this is my uh, a way of turning the uh, hot water on and off for the electric mode. And you want to always leave that switch off unless uh, you're sure that you have water uh, completely filled uh, inside the water tank. If you have any problems with the wires uh, that attach to this switch and that run up to your uh, eco thermostat uh, set system as well as to the uh, electric water heater element which is behind this black uh, plastic cover the only way you're going to get access to, to this is to pull this water heater out uh, there's just not enough room uh, from uh, the inside uh, you're not going to do it from inside the fifth wheel on the earlier view I showed you uh, where you could see quite a few components on the water tank from inside the fifth wheel and uh, if I tried to access uh, uh, the wiring to this switch or to the heating element uh, or to the uh, eco breakers uh, if I had problems there uh, from the inside of the basement area uh, which would be uh, through here and uh, through the cargo bay and through the rear access panel uh, the uh, I'm just not going to be able to get access to it uh, I've looked in there before. Your unit might be different uh, depending on the layout of it. You may have some room, but if I had problems with this, uh, with burned up uh, electrical wirings to the junction box that uh, sends power to here and uh, to the uh, electric heating elements, uh, then I would have to take out uh, this whole assembly and pull it out. And it uh, it can be done. It's not that hard of a job, but uh, I wouldn't want to have to do it, uh, uh, not right today anyways. And uh, one more quick overview on uh, the Suburban uh, water heater. This is the SW12 DEL model. Uh, the burner tube assembly, the Helton, uh, with one bolt I can take that out, take the gas line fitting off, and I can pull this whole assembly out. And this red wire lead that you see feeds back up inside and then runs up inside to the top corner where I showed earlier in the video and uh, where that small little white uh, igniter module box is at and the igniter is held in by one bolt you can see it right there where my finger is pointing and you can pull that bolt out and pull this whole igniter assembly out clean it, uh, check the gap on it uh, and reinstall it. It's uh, something you should do once a year and uh, you can see, uh, I think, uh, by the inside of uh, what this water heater looks like. This unit is uh, eight years old. I've kept it very clean. And uh, if you notice down here, there's a small roll of Teflon tape. I leave it there. That way I've always got it. And uh, when I pull the anode rod out and put a new anode in, I always wrap that uh, anode threads with uh, fresh tape. And I, I leave this in here so uh, two reasons. Number one, so I can find the tape when I need it. And number two, if uh, I'm out on the road and uh, I start getting a water leak here, I can uh, pull this anode out and retape it uh, and uh, hopefully solve the water leak issue.